Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Today we're going to be reacting to the Ariana Grande uh, Positions live performance. Uh, quick background, I have never done a reaction video or am a big Ariana Grande fan. However, I think she's really talented. I also like, uh, I saw this cover, uh, I guess you can call it a cover, of her own song only once. Uh, and, and her doing it, I just watched it. Um, and I was just like, this is really great. I wanna kind of give my feedback on it and things I've noticed from a guitarist perspective that maybe um, other people wouldn't really notice so much. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to know if you're learning uh, you know, an instrument or something and how she's using a looper pedal and doing this live performance. So uh, let's get into it, we'll start. First of all, great, um, her voice is very breathy, right? And when you're doing breathy vocals, number one is, uh, especially for harmonizing, uh, you wanna make sure the pitch is, is of course, as, as great as you can get it. And it seems, I don't know if they've auto-tuned or pitch corrected any of her vocals for this. Uh, I imagine they would because it's produced, uh, you know, so well. But when you're breathy, it's easier to be a little off. But I think, first of all, Ariana Grande has really great pitch already in other videos I've heard of her, which is why these harmonies sound so great. And she's she's clearly, clearly like practiced this part because she has different timing uh, on, on different things. One thing to note, The third, you know, in the looper she's using, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. You can see she's got, uh, a f I think it's like four big buttons. She's got uh, volume controls, faders. What they've done is made it really easy for her to just click on, record, click, record your next thing, you know? And um, I, I would say that I'm pretty sure, like almost positive that she's got a metronome click track in her ears so that when the band comes in, it's the tempo that they want it to be, right? Let's see, let's listen to it. Cool dress. Kind of. And by the way, like, dude, the, the set that they've given her here is amazing. Um, she's got flowers in front of her, whether they're real or not, I don't know, but it's really pretty and they've got this purple or this pink ring around the band that I really liked. When she just sang into the mic there, she had a harmonizer on. So she's got effects that she's also putting on her voice. Good, she's turned it off. Now the band has taken over. Playing to a track, no one's playing that part. Now yeah, the drummer comes in on a pad on the back, right? And I mean, you gotta give credit to like the band. They're really tight. Maybe they've edited it a little bit, but like the, this, this is, you hear these covers on YouTube of uh, solo musicians that, that just enjoy doing cover songs of artists like Ariana Grande, for example. And what I've seen now more recently is you have like Ed Sheeran with Bad Habits recently that these artists are covering their own songs. They're like, oh, I'm seeing other people cover my songs. Why don't I just create a version? And that's what they're doing. And I think it's partially because maybe they, you can't have live performances right now because, uh, you know, but, but it's also because they're putting their own spin on their own song. I think it's really cool. I mean, Positions, I just looked it up, was, was released October, 2020. And for Ariana Grande, they kind of put her own spin on the intro and then have this like live version with their band, like a single take uh, is pretty amazing. And the, the way that the band has, has, is playing this live, it really locks in with her vocals. 
Um, and I just, I, I like what artists are doing for their own songs. I think that there's still room for YouTube cover artists, like solo, solo singer songwriters that are recording their own stuff still, uh, to, to continue doing covers of, of, uh, popular artists, even though artists like Ariana Grande and Sharon are, are doing their own covers. You know, they're still different. You like to hear like that raw sound of, uh, you know, YouTube artists covering it. Okay, she's got a harmony there. So she might have just turned on her loop again for the chorus. And that's what you see is they turn on a loop for the chorus. Okay, now this, these vocals might have been added in after because I don't think she recorded all of these before. So, cute tattoos there with the, the butterfly. And dude, I mean, guys, come on, like the set, what is it called? The set design, the costuming, she's got pink, dark light pink with the white and the, and the pink um, triangles on the top. You got, it's very geometric, a lot of shapes here happening in the shape of the ceiling in a circle. And it's just, you, you got this pink with a nice contrast of that green opposing colors. Um, and of course the band's wearing all black with the white shoes or something. Um, I mean, in the lights that they put on these guys, I mean, it's just a great dynamic, everything. This is the highest production. And this is what the result is that you get when you have the nicest equipment, the nicest uh, videographer stuff and, and best, you know, best people in the business working on your stuff, you're going to get something like this. And, and they've, they've really taken full advantage of what they have here. And, and I mean, um, it's just great with, with what they've done. Nice, nice film. Ariana kills these uh, rip, rips, always, these runs, you know? You know, and again, those breathy vocals that are signature for Ariana Grande, and that's why harmony sounds so good on a main lead vocal that maybe has a little bit more timbre, which like more presence in the front of the face, uh, is that she's got these more breathy harmonies that just really support the lead vocal um, really nicely. And I think those are recorded in after the fact. So yeah, I definitely think there's some like uh, production. You know, we got 10 seconds left, but yeah. So anyway, um, that is my reaction to it. Uh, you, you know, putting in some useful information. Hopefully, you know, if you play an instrument, you think this is interesting, useful. If you like it, please comment on this video what your thoughts are, like the video. Hopefully we get some more views on this one. And um, please subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I'm gonna start posting more, hopefully. <laughs> it's like a lot going on, but I try to post more. And uh, thanks again, talk soon.